The man a judge once said would probably never be released has been freed from prison. Colin Pitchfork is back on the street. He raped and murdered two 15-year-old girls. In 1983, Linda Mann was the first victim. Three years later, and Dawn Ashworth was killed. 35 years on, and the pain caused by her loss still burns through Dawn's family. Dawn was a lovely young girl with a lot of potential, and that was taken from her in an unimaginable way. I remember searing pain at her funeral and that, that never leaves us and certainly the impact it's had on my sister, her mother of course, and the rest of the family. There are some crimes that are just so heinous in their nature that they do deserve a full life tariff. Uh, there's no reprieve for Linda and Dawn, is there? Convicted today and Pitchfork would almost certainly have spent the rest of his life in prison. In 1988 he got life but with a minimum term of 30 years. As he's now satisfied the parole board that he is rehabilitated, he was let out. Pitchfork may have left here a free man but his liberty comes with strings attached. He will be supervised for life and his licence says that if he breaches any of the conditions he will be returned straight to prison. Is Pitchfork a risk to the public? Officially, he isn't. But given his history and the murders of two 15-year-old girls, many still question the wisdom behind the decision that has led to his release. Rupert Evelyn, ITV News, Gloucestershire.